Hey guys, welcome back to Going Around. Today we're continuing with John Carpenter, as always. And we're looking at today's 1988 They Live. Pretty good movie. Uh, I am your host, Jason Massey. Joining me, as always, Joanne Massey, Loretta Mooney. Yeah, so They Live, uh, if you have not seen it or have not heard of it, basically the premise is a dude finds a pair of glasses that lets him see aliens and he goes around killing them. <laughs> basically it <laughs> so the glasses are supposed to be something that takes the glamour off of these people that look human to everybody else mm -hmm. but they're actually aliens yep and then all the posters and whatnot you see and whatnot are actually like propaganda and then when you put on the glasses you can see like the real poster or whatnot yeah it says consume reproduce obey Obey. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was funny when he looked at the cash and it says on the dollar bill, this is your God. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So this movie, I it was awesome. Yes. Yes. So, um, it was it definitely was... a like action comedy rather than a yes. horror movie. Yeah. I enjoyed the actors that they got in this, but like... Yes. My first thought when I was rewatching this is, where's Kurt Russell in this part? Yeah. Because this was a totally yeah. Kurt Russell, like... Role. Role. Like, mm -hmm. that, yeah. and with how much John Carpenter he's already done, where yeah. was he on this one? Like, so you can play Snake and then uh, the one guy in Big Trouble mm -hmm. Little China. And McCready. Yeah, he would have fit to yeah. play yeah. Uh, the main guy. Yeah. He would have been, like... Oh, you would have thought if they if John Carpenter was making this movie, it would have been Kurt Russell. Yeah, maybe Kurt Russell had something going on at the time. Yeah, because yeah. he did become very big, like after he did those few with Carpenter. So mm -hmm. he may have just had something else going on. So he found a different. Although I did love that they used Rowdy Roddy Piper in it. <laughs> <laughs> seeing did, those, seeing Keith yeah. David fight Rowdy Roddy Piper was That's highlight the of the whole movie. That's like the best part of yes. the whole entire movie. My favorite thing about the fight, which makes it the best part in the movie, was the fact that it lasted way too long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, the oh, fight yeah. was way too drawn yeah. out. Like, I love how they constantly break and then kind of breathe and then go right back to it. <laughs> that was really funny. And then I really loved, like, when he finally, like, forced them to put on the sunglasses to see everything. And he's like, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh... Yeah, he. I think in this storyline, he took that information very well. Like when he first yeah. put on the sunglasses, like a lot of people would freak out. I love when he was yelling at the lady in the flower shop. <laughs> so you look terrifying. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> you, you look good. She, she looks like horrible. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but then he gave himself away. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's yeah, it would be something I would want to do, but <laughs> then again, he realized really quickly that, oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> so the glasses were an integral part throughout the entire movie. Like, the whole bit about them seeing the aliens was from the glasses. Mm -hmm. At the end of the movie when he and Keith David are going through the, uh, what's it, what fucking building was it? It was like the, uh... The news building? The news. the news, yeah. Yeah. They were running through, uh, shooting all the aliens and whatnot, but they weren't wearing glasses. Because they got the contacts at the meeting. They got the contacts with the other people that knew about him. It was kind of like an underground group. Oh, sure. Remember, they went to that meeting, and he was like, there's something <coughs> new go going on, and oh, well, they I, went, and they got contacts. I and then spaced they were, that part. You yeah. spaced that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember them getting contacts. I remember them going to the meeting, and I remember everyone at the meeting dying. Yeah. No, yeah, they, they got, got contacts. contacts that were oh, made right. just like the sunglasses. That way, the aliens couldn't tell that they actually could see. Yeah, because how they identified him was as, oh, he's wearing sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Because during the entire last act of the movie, I was like, how do you know they're aliens at this point? You're just shooting people. You just didn't pay attention <laughs> to that part. Yeah. That It's one thing when you think about this movie. If you think from an outside perspective of them, they're basically just going around killing people to the best of your yeah, knowledge. Yeah, really, know yeah. 
Yeah. So throughout I mean, the entire beginning of the movie, as far as you know, he's just killing everyone. Well, and then and you you can tell that that they're intermixed with the police too because mm-hmm. of what the run in that they have with police officers. They have you know There's some of humans. the aliens in there, and they have some humans in there, and so with that, it's. Yeah, cops, even human cops are going to be like, oh, he's just beating the shit out of this person. Yeah. And the other ones are standing there going, yeah, okay, we know why he's doing this. You know, so, I I don't know, I thought it was a good interaction. Yeah. Because they had these aliens throughout everything. Mm -hmm. I loved at the end when they turned off the signal thing and all the aliens couldn't hide. And everyone was freaking out seeing them. Everybody was freaking out. And the aliens were just sitting in the bar like, oh, and they're like... <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, my God, what the fuck? <laughs> they're like... They're like, oh, hey, Moving yeah. away from people because they were aliens. They're like... Whereas they turn around, they're like, oh, what's wrong? Or the very, very end where the girl, like, is having sex and she looks yeah, down she and she's like, I love what's wrong, baby? Yeah, what's, what's wrong, <laughs> <Yeah>. baby? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It, they had I mean, to put was their a, boobs in there. Kind of. yeah. Well, Yeah. <laughs> It was a cool concept, though, when it was made. I mean, yeah. it's kind of an odd concept. I don't know if John Carpenter came up with this on his own or if he had somebody else that kind of helped him come up with this, but it was kind of a cool concept where they were perceived to be human mm-hmm. and had, you know, some kind of disguise on them and hadn't really seen too much of that with aliens. Yeah. Yeah. This was definitely a very good movie yeah i very much enjoyed it it was a nice blend of like science fiction just action dumb comedy science fiction action comedy horror everything i mean it was a really good mix yeah i really enjoyed it i i love the line that he said when he walks in the bank he's like you're kick ass and chew bubblegum but I expected there to be, like, something behind that. Like, I had never seen the movie, just seen the part. And I expected, like, throughout, like, the beginning of the movie, him to constantly be chewing gum or some shit. But he just walks into the bank and says that line out of nowhere. Like, there's no context to it. And it's just like, what? (laughs) I love the line, but what the fuck? Yeah, well, it was a good movie. Mm-hmm. Do you think you would like it if they remade it today? They'd have to be careful. Yeah. That's one they would have to be careful with. Yeah, they would. I feel like they could easily screw it up. Yeah. They could very easily screw it up. And I don't know if they could actually get two people to do the fight scene quite as well as those two. I feel like if they remade it, they'd try to make it, like, grittier and, like, just, like, more realistic but you don't need that with this movie no you don't the part of the charm of this movie is that it's just an outrageous 80s flick yeah yeah <laughs> yeah definitely like when you think outrageous 80 movies they live <laughs> has all their gratuitous action and one-liners as well as a, a lot of, of gratuitous boobs yeah yeah but yeah, they. I don't know if they could find a couple people that would be able to do that fight scene. I don't, I don't know. It would be hard. I would love though to see Samuel L. Jackson play Keith David's part. That'd be really funny. He's getting old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was Still just thinking that. Yeah, he's getting pretty old. I don't know. With new day actors, I don't know. There's so many new actors nowadays mm. that like, I don't even know half of them anymore. No. I just know, like, the classics. Yeah. So, uh, do you think it still holds up today? Visually? Besides a little bit of the graphics, yes. I yeah. think so. I liked how it was mostly practical. Mm-hmm. In terms of, like, the alien effects and whatnot. Yeah. I just got in an argument with somebody the other day about practical and CGI effects. Practical all the way. I know, because I, I watched Jaws too, And yeah. they were just like... Well, there is so the the effects are so bad because you know the practical effects just don't hold up. And I'm like, yeah, but they're so more creative and like yeah. Just I mean, you got to realize what these people do for the imagination to make these things look and good work. or decent in the work <laughs> yeah. that they put into it. I mean, look at the first Alien movie. Yeah, looks amazing. The and Alien the looks amazing, but what was it? Trash bags? Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, how 
these people have a creative mind. Let them use it. Yeah. Plus, CGI is even worse for in terms of becoming outdated rather quickly. Yeah. Because yeah. some practical effects, if you do them right, like the thing, uh, like the first Jurassic Park movie had a good couple practical effects, they'll hold up. But CGI is more or less destined to be outdated. Well, it's like as soon as we have something that looks great in CGI, the next year it looks like crap. Yeah, because it's the next year advanced. people are like, "Oh, hey, we figured out how to make it look even better." Yeah. So it instantly becomes it outdates outdated so fast. Mm. Like you look at some movies from last year, and the CGI is already not too good, especially if your uh, movie doesn't have a high. CGI um, delegation of money, then it'll easily become outdated. Yeah. No, I really like the practical effects. Mm. I enjoyed this movie. I thought it was good. There wasn't yes. really much like to the practical <laughs> effects, really. Yeah, it was basically just makeup. Yeah, yeah. They did really good with just like basics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes and I like the way that they actually did make, like, all the aliens kind of look the same. Yeah. Like, as far as what they looked like without the, um... The camouflage. The camouflage, yeah. Yeah. But the, the, besides, like, because my main argument was the whole end bit where they didn't have glasses, but now that you remind me they have contacts, <laughs> that throws that out. But for Keith David's character, Keith, Keith David... Um, he was such a good like second and leading role and then they killed him so unceremoniously because yeah, they killed him in a blink and you miss it moment where literally the girl turns evil shoots him in the head and then it transitions and all that happens in like a second mm -hmm. she's just staying by and pulls out a gun shoots him and then it cuts away yeah. it's like did you just kill off the secondary character like what mm -hmm. the fuck yep yeah, when that happened, didn't I, like, see that coming, I did sat you? there and I was like, I literally was like, what the fuck? Did they just kill <laughs> Keith David? You weren't expecting that, were you? No, I wanted him and uh, the Piper to fucking be the like two surviving and walk off into the sunset together. <laughs> but <laughs> everyone's none of them died. dead. <laughs> none of them lived. Yeah, I wish none of them died. Yeah, none of them lived. Yeah, yeah but they got the truth out lived. there. <laughs> they lived. <laughs> yeah, they lived. I know there's sequels to this one as oh, well. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. I'd be interested. It's not John it. Carpenter. I know yeah. that. Oh, I didn't even know they did anything for a sequel on these. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. it's got like two or three of them. Just okay. saying. Yeah, probably not as good as this one. Oh, probably not. Not at all. Yeah. I doubt it. But uh, that's all I got for this movie. I would suggest that if you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. Highly recommend yeah. it. Watch go out of your way to watch it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go out of your way to watch it if you can it find is, it. Yeah. It's a good movie. If you like action movies and sci fi or just cheesy one liner filled movies, you'll like this movie. This was good for like all types, really. Yeah. Yeah. So I really enjoyed it. Yeah. That's about it. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Go out of your way to watch it. Go out of your way to watch it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, yeah, so uh, that's gonna conclude it here for They Live. Uh, stay tuned when we yet again continue our John Carpenter movies. Uh, yeah, we're also starting our clown series with uh, th the movie 31, just 31. It's a Rob Zombie flick. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to talk about that one. But um, yeah, until then, you should like, subscribe, click the links below, ring the little bell, and uh, besides that, just keep on googling.